Is there anything distinctive about this footage? So you have your DJ Avada, but the image is looking stuttery. Why? Well, I will tell you why. Because you don't have the one and only accessory you will ever need for this drone. Not counting in the batteries. Uh, that, that is also a great accessory to have, if you can count it as an accessory. The only accessory you will ever need are these things right here. So those are ND filters by Freewell, by the way. Freewell is my favorite filter company. I, I, uh, they just do a very good job making the filters. But why do you need these filters? Uh, it's quite very simple. If you fly without the filters in a bright sunny day, you will get a very stuttery image because the shutter speed is very high. Because we humans see motion blur, as I keep telling in many of my videos, uh, that is why the camera needs an ND filter. These are like sunglasses to the camera. So basically, you will reduce the light hitting the sensor and that will allow you to get that shutter speed lower. That will allow you to get the motion blur. Motion blur is very, very important in, well, FPV drones, in any kind of drones actually, in any kind of cameras, because that will make the image look more natural to the eye. Because, well, if the shutter speed would be, let's try to change it. The ISO, this will be super grainy. You see, this is not, this is not natural. I, this looks weird. Um, and, uh, you will get the same image without the ND filters with this drone, with any drone actually, uh, in a daylight conditions. So let's get back to the, like this. Yes, that is why we are using ND filters. I'm also using an ND filter on this camera right now, a polarized magnetic ND filter by Freewell as well. It's a great piece of equipment to have. How do you use these filters? It's quite very simple. You grab the drone just like this, hold the camera, and put it on and it should be on just like that now we have the nd filter on the drone and now we'll be able to get those motion blurry images and i also found out that if you put it the other way around like the wrong way you will get these very cool looking flares so if we take oh, i smudged it okay so if we put it on the other way around. If you use it like this, you will get really cool looking side flares from the sun um, in a sunny day. As you can see in these video clips, it gives these, uh, well, these flares, these sun side flares, and I like them. I, I kind of do enjoy them. Although you cannot fly in the ultra wide mode. Well, you can, but you will get these vignettings around. You can use this trick in the var in the wide at least i think so in the wide mode and in the normal mode it just looks cool i i don't know i like it uh, some people might not like it but i like it but if you put it the right way there will be no flares like that so choose your destiny <laughs> this is the only accessory you will ever need in my opinion at least so yeah thank you so much freewell for sending me the filters um if you want to get your own uh, Freewell ND filters, go check the link in the description. If you get it through there, you're helping out my channel. And well, go get your filters, go get that motion blur. Motion blur is what you need to get that uh, image that looks natural. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos about drones and flying stuff, uh, subscribe like this video and see you in the next video.